Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, the World Cup 2022 edition. This is for Group B with England, Iran, United States of America, and Wales. This is amazing, and I cannot wait to get into this episode. Today, we have some special guests, obviously, from the home country. I cannot wait to announce them. Let me first also announce my co-host of the show, Emilio. How are you doing, mate? Uh, another another day to talk about football, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it, just like our sponsor, Mick. No, please, Mackie, <laughs> sponsor me. I'm hungry. I want some goddamn fast food, please. Okay, well, let me introduce you to another guest I've had on the show. I haven't had him in, in a long, long time, and it suits to have him on right now because he's going to represent England. Dante, Newcastle supporter. How you doing, mate? Very good. Very good. Quite tired because it's... um. Nearly one o'clock in the morning. But, yep. uh, I'll, t- I'll, t- I'll take credit for that. <laughs> but yeah, representing England. It's coming yes, home. sir. Yes, sir. It's, 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 it's not coming home. Oh, come on. Have some faith. Come it's on. Not. It's coming home. It's coming it's really home. Not. Okay, well, it's okay. Well, okay, well, it's nice to have you on again. And then also, another guest I've had on the show before. You know her. Veronica, representing America, a Tottenham supporter. How are you doing, mate? Oh, I'm so good. It's called soccer. Um, that's all Disgusting. I really have to say. <laughs> Kick off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Okay, uh, where's the button? No, I'm kidding. Well, it's not, nice to have you on again, and I can't wait to have you represent. So, And then also we have um, Iran and Wales today with me representing them because I am actually part Iranian and Welsh. It's my I, my Iranian side is part like my dog part Iranian and then also Wales I do watch I watched a whale movie one time and I'm sure that counts as something so Gareth Bale you and me sisters all right so group B let me just get your initial thoughts to it and I'll start first with Dante what do you think about when group B came out and they tweeted it from the FIFA's what do you think well I mean it's obviously we're gonna finish top Iran I know one player and it's to Remy yes, only because of FIFA yes. USA they've got the LeBron James of soccer <laughs> up front and no one else yeah, and then yeah. Wales they've got um Bale and that's it so yeah. it's, it's pretty easy we're gonna win all three games okay that's a fair statement it's a fair shot all right well another one uh Veronica what do you have to say about this when you first saw group B came out oh uh, I was I was actually I I do not have the confidence to say we'd top the group but i was incredibly excited to to have like the the linguistic derby you know what i mean yes the soccer versus football the cookie versus biscuit you know all of that for me i was hyped to see that that the u.s had the opportunity to prove themselves in this fashion and to be honest with how uh, England's looked in the Nations League, I'm not I'm not too nervous about it compared to what you could get from other groups. Have England over plenty of other European countries, so. Ah, oh, fair statement. I mean, <laughs> right, okay. yep. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and also there is um. Of course, you forgot. Am I right? Yeah. Do you want well, me to repeat? You just... Yeah. What? What? That's how you say football in Arabic. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely know that. Drop the base. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you ruined it. Sorry. All right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Emilio. Oh, I cannot wait to use this for the show. Oh, this will be fun. All right. That's that's probably not a good thing. Thanks. Jesus. It's gonna get canceled on the first episode. All right. Um, Emilio, what yeah. did you first think when Group B came out? I mean, it's for sure England's gonna win. It's gonna be top, and then uh, US is just gonna stay with Wales on on like in this in second. So I think that England and Wales are going to make it to the, wow. to the round of 16. Wow. I am, I'm not that confident mm. in the United States because in oh. the past, I mean, yeah, we won the, we won the Euros. We'll be, but we're not going to win the world cup. So it's not, it's not them. 
I have Wait. zero to little confidence in the United States making it to round the right 16. Now as well too. Did, did you mean the gold cup? Uh, yeah, gold cup. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yep. Yikes. I the love U- it. The Euros of the North America's lovely. <laughs> All right. Well, that would be that would be pretty pretty cool if the U.S. won the Euros. Euros. But, like just just head over there, you know, take over. It's fine. Like Qatar would join the Gold Cup. They they bought their way into it. So hey, why not? Uh, can... it's, listen, I'm running on one cup of coffee. It's it's a decent day. So I'm not you drink functioning. coffee. Uh, yeah, I do. I, I'm not functioning well, but uh. But yeah, we won the Gold Cup, but we ain't gonna win the uh, the World Cup. So it's gonna be England for you know for the round of sixteen. And if I have to say, England are gonna win against the United States, and we're still gonna be calling the football. Yep. Uh, maybe I don't know. I'm not, I'm not biased. All right. Well, let us now <laughs> get into the first country, and that is England. Let me just say the squad that came into Qatar, pounding and ready. That's that's not what I wanted to say. All right. <laughs> Jordan Pickford. Keeper for still talking about football there. Nah, we're talking about something else, which is oh, I need to stop talking. <laughs> not the right. show, not the let show. me just let not me just listen. Okay, that's our only fan show. All right, um, goalkeeper Nick Pope from Newcastle United. I am sure you are buzzing about him being there, Dante. So should be, should be number one. Okay, yeah, fair. ah, fair, fair. Then I Aaron, agree. yeah. Oh wow, uh, wow. Okay, Aaron's Ramsdale and Arsenal. No, Aaron Ramsdale, the keeper from Arsenal. Trans Alexander Arnold from Liverpool, Connor Cody from Everton, Eric Dyer, Poopy Pants Dyer from Tottenham, Harry Maguire oh, from Manchester United. <laughs> Don't laugh. Luke Shaw from Manchester United, John Stones from Manchester City. It's getting serious since I passed all the jokesters. Kevin Trippier from Kieran Trippier from Newcastle United, Kyle Walker from Manchester City, Ben White from Arsenal, Jude Bellingham from Borussia Dortmund. Connor Gallagher from Chelsea, Jordan Henderson from Liverpool, Mason Mount from Chelsea, Calvin Phillips from Chelsea, from Manchester City, Strickland Rice from West Ham United, James Madison from Leicester City, Callum Wilson from Newcastle, Phil Foden from Manchester City, Jack Grealish from Manchester City, Harry Kane from Tottenham, Marcus Rashford from Manchester United, Bukio Ooh, Bukayo Saka from Arsenal and Raheem Sterling from Manchester. What the hell? They got this wrong. It is Chelsea FC. Yikes. All right. Well, Dante, what do you think about this squad? And just give me your thoughts about this thing. I mean, I'm sure well, there is some. Yes. We're definitely not going to win it since we bought Harry Maguire with us and not Tomori. When he won the Serie A, he's been playing consistently for AC Milan. Well, Harry Maguire has been benched by a midget from Argentina. Um, so it's yes. just... And Dyer and Connor Cody. They... I don't know if any of you watched the program. They are the worst <laughs> centre-backs I think I've ever seen in my life. I would rather have a, a plank. I'd rather have an inflatable person than <laughs> either one of them starting for England. Wait I'd rather minute. have... I'd back myself to be oh. better than them too. They are... Hence the name. Dyer, okay, they are useless. Connor Cody, Dyer, and Maguire, absolutely terrible. I'd put Tomori, I don't know who else, just any anyone. Get some bloke from Blooming Stockport in there. Would you, would you rather? Job. Would you would you rather get Choloba from Chelsea? No, because he's oh. rubbish. He's okay. Yikes, okay. <laughs> he wouldn't he wouldn't make the end of twenty threes. <laughs> what did you say? He wouldn't make the end of twenty threes. Oh my god. Okay. He's terrible. Fair enough, fair um, enough. Yeah, apart from that, I mean, Trent is what can you do? Uh, midfield, yeah, it's fine. It's can't really complain about the firm. Yeah, it's loads of English teams. I don't know why we didn't, why we bought Phillips and Grealish, who are absolutely appalling, just because they play for England. Yeah. Same with Pickford, Jordan Prickford, because he's <laughs> dire, he's rubbish. <laughs> Like where where Everton, I mean seventeenth, and he's getting picked for England. It's just Gareth Southgate. He's got biased, and then obviously oh, yeah. Tony had to go because he's done been done for betting, and Callum Wilson's going, so that's good. But yeah, it's a good it's a good squad, but we, it's definitely not going to win the World Cup. <laughs> That was so just... funny because you just like shit on most of the team, and you're yeah, like, oh, that's a shit. good squad. <laughs> 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 Wait, okay, wait, but so, um, 
<laughs> Wait, Ivan Tony. I thought he didn't go because biased of Sir Gareth Southgate. No, he was picked in the. It was like before the oh. World Cup. It was for some like training, and then he and then he got caught like betting over two hundred times on football, oh. and he's been he's been proven guilty in it, and he's got until like December first to. What's wrong explain. with that though? It's well, you like can't insider really do it as a training. Footballer. You can't yeah. really do it as a footballer because obviously you're a footballer and you're betting on yourself. So if you bet on yourself to miss a penalty, you just miss it, couldn't you? Oh, that's oh exactly. And then you just make it's like tests. throwing the World Series or whatever, you know? Oh. Like I don't know what that is. Sorry, <laughs> there there was an iconic like White Sox Chicago baseball. They threw the World Series and bet on it, and they got a ton of money, and it was a big hole blue. Oh yeah, that's basically what he's doing. But yeah. half the half the team is pretty <laughs> crap, like Gallagher. <laughs> Him, John Anderson. All he does is shout. That's the only reason he <laughs> starts for Liverpool. He all he does is shout and run. He's dire. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna. It's not. We won't get to like the semi final. Who do you think's the squad's best player? Who do you think's gonna make an impact? Um, well, probably none of them. To be fair. Oh, oh come on, come on. That's not true. Come on, if you're playing the lovely sport of. You have to have someone that's gonna absolutely get a hat trick. Well, I think the people that are gonna lead us are Kane, Sterling, and like Bellingham, and then all the Newcastle players because they're the only ones in form. <laughs> that's I hate to say, it, but fair, fair. I mean, Marcus Rashford, he's a little bit in form. He's been doing. I mean, ah. we've taken one left back. <laughs> Who does you're... that? Why have we taken one left back? Yeah. And because right backs. Oh yeah, your injuries. Reese Four James, right Chilwell. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. All right. Well, that's dire. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, um. Do you, any of you guys have to say anything about the England squad or anything about England? So I, I like just a question. Like, who's the starting midfield in this squad? Oh, yeah. Is it Bellingham? Because like well, in the Euros, it was the pivot of. Rice and Phillips, but he's not going to start Phillips, right? Like, he uh-huh. hasn't played. Well, Harry Maguire hasn't played, and he's definitely going to start for England. Oh, God. As left wing, <laughs> as left wing. The thing is, though, <laughs> I know we won't win because Gareth Southgate is just going to play five back, and then we're going to have Maguire, probably Dyer or Cody, knowing him, Stones, <laughs> and then either Trent or Walker at right wing. Walker's the only defender we've got who has any sort of pace. It would have been Tamori, but we didn't pick him. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. <laughs> ben White's kind of fast. Ben White's kind of fast. Ben White. He's like, you know, he's definitely better than your other options. <laughs> well, he's better than a fridge running at you. Yeah. Tracking back for the ball. Not even a good fridge, too. Okay. No. Well, okay. Well, let me just move on now. Uh, thank you for your. Uh, right. uh, one more, one more thing. You think this England squad is better than the Euro England squad that was a year ago? Well, it's the same, isn't it? Is it? I it's, would basically, not... it's, it's basically the same team. Is it like did you Cody went, Dio went? Yeah, Tomori didn't go. It's basically the exact same team. I think they're less in form. Like they're not. Like true. I don't think they he's, look he's as good. Picked... He's picked players because from loads of England squads. The only person that isn't from England is Bellingham, and it's because he's blooming eighteen. Yeah. If if he weren't eight, if he was like twenty six, he wouldn't even get a close. Yeah. But because he's like the youngest player to play for England, he's gonna pick him. Oh, also you know. James Madison. What do you think about that one? Actually, I I really like that one too. Probably the most one of the most informed English players at the minute. Yeah. Kane's really out of form. Trippier, Wilson, and Pope are in form. No one else is. Yeah. Half the team don't play. So. <laughs> well, I'm glad you support your team. <laughs> hey, yep. if, they, if they can make it to the Euros um, final with this squad, they can make mm. it to the round of something for this one. Day two. Yeah. Okay, well, now let's move on to Iran, and as they play, let me just list the names. So, goalkeeper, Amir Abedzaha from Ponferradina, and also another goalkeeper, 
Ariza Birnavad from Paris Post from Iran. Then Hossein Hossaini from Istagal from Iran. Payam Nizam from Peros from Iran. Also Rejubu Chimis. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm sorry. <laughs> from Istamagal from Iran. Isham Hajafe from Athens in Greek. I know that one. Majid Hosiani. Oh, a brother. Nice. From Al Alia. From Qatar. Shoja Kalazedia. From Al Alia as well, too. From Qatar. Demilahid Mohammedi. From Athens, Greece as well, too. Sadet Mohammedi. From Dinamo Zagreb in Croatia. Mozzarella. No. Mod Mor Moretta from Porginanji and from place for Porincia Plus in Iran. I did that wrong. Ram Razimian from the place for Sampenian in Iran. And Vahed Amehi from Peripolis in Iran. Said and Zadatolehi from Verge in Denmark. Saman Godos from Brentford in England. Ale Godezadi from Charlotte in Belgium. Alezia Jahama Bahashish from Feyenoord in Netherlands. Ali Kayami from Kaznaspor from Turkey. Then Ahmad Nurahari from Shabab Al Ali in United Emirates Emirates. Mehdi Tarabi from Petropolis in Iran. Karim Ansadafad from Omania. Oh, Amman Amanipia. This is the team that, that be united. And Amman Amanipia, Nicolesia from Cyprus. And then Sada Azmon from Bayern Leverkusen. And then Mehdi Taremi from Porto, Portugal, who is a great player. And I believe that's going to be a very, very dangerous player for the squad. But for everybody else, I am sorry. I really don't know much about him. And I do actually know the Brentford player, Samad Godes. And I do as well know the uh, Dinamo Zagreb player, Sademe Moriami. But I'm, I apologize if I butchered all of them. And I probably did. And I probably did say a couple of the teams this. Because there are some players that play for the same team. I probably said those teams different each time. So, yeah. Anybody want to say anything about Iran and their team? I mean... There's a good Portugal. I, I will say something. Oh. I actually think they're a bit of a dark horse for the group. Really? Because they have beat Uruguay and drew with Senegal were their last two matches. And it wasn't like it was like Uruguay put out, like, you know, their B team or whatever, or same with Senegal. Yeah. And I think a lot of times, like, there are those teams where it's like, sure, you don't know, like, every player um it, or you don't know many of the players yeah. but they have all played together because they've all been their country's best players for years so they've come up through the youth system they've always played together and yeah. tournament football you don't always have to be the best it's how well can you be coached and put those pieces together so i'm just saying they might be a dark horse for the group like i don't I don't feel confident that the U.S. will beat them genuinely. Wow. Okay. Um, and also, uh, I want to say as a little asterisk, I also thought Turkey would be a uh, dark horse for the Euros, and I was so wrong. So take what I say with a grain of salt. All right. Well, grain of salt on McDonald's french fries, and that is good. But okay. Well, <laughs> any of you want to say anything about Iran and the sport they play? No? Okay, fair. No. All right. <laughs> All, right. All right. All right. So now let us hear from United States of America. Let me just say the US World Cup squad. So goalkeeper, Ethan. Uh, I won't do Texas accent. Goalkeeper, Ethan Horvat from Luton Town in England. Another goalkeeper, Sean Johnson from New York City FC and the MLS. Goalkeeper, Matt Turner from Arsenal in England. Goalkeeper, Tim. Oh, defender, Tim Rame from Fulham in England. Another defender, Cameron Carter Vickers from Celtic in Scotland. And another defender, Serginio Dest from AC Milano in Italy. Aaron Long, another defender from New York Red Bulls in MLS. Another defender, Shaq Moore from Nashville, South 
Carol, I don't know. He's in a, a no. soccer club. Soccer club. Oh, I hate my life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a few. I, I, I avoided that. All right. Then another defender, Anton Robinson from Fulham in England. Then another defender, Joe Scali from Gladbach in Germany. By English and Gladbach. Another defender, DeAndre Yedlin at Inter Miami. Pass played for Newcastle United. And then another defender, Walker Zinnerman for Nashville, the team. And then the midfielders are Kellen Acosta from LAFC. Tyler Adams from Leeds United. I heard a clap there. Happy. Weston McKenney from Juventus. Yunus Musa from Valencia. Christian Ronald. Oh, my God. His name is actually close. It's Christian <laughs> Rolna, Roldan. Ah, sorry. From Seattle Sounders. <laughs> Brandon Aronson from Leeds United in England, and Luca De La Torre from Celta Vigo. Those are the midfielders. All right, the forwards, Gio Reyna from Borussia Dortmund in Germany, Jesus Ferreira from FC Dallas in MLS, Jordan Morris from Seattle Sounders in MLS, Haji Wright from Al... 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 A team in Turkey, Al Antalyaspor. There we go. Christian Pulisic from the LeBron James of Soccer in Chelsea in England, and Josh Sargent from Norwich City FC in England. Timothy Ve and plays for Lille in France. All right. Well, um, Veronica, please give me your thoughts, concerns, um, the word of the day. So, so um, uh, I would say that generally this is not a surprising squad. I mm. think uh, the big surprises are that Zach Steffen didn't go, which I actually think is appropriate because he was on the bench for City for a long time. And every time he came off the bench, it was like not a good performance. So uh, I don't think he's been in form for a really long time. Um, we left out Ricardo Pepe. That I think is pretty ridiculous. I he agree, yeah. Sc- yeah. He scored three goals in qualification. Like, he he bailed us out multiple times. Mm-hmm. And even if he wouldn't start, I think he's a way bigger impact sub than Ferreira. So, that just felt like a very weird choice. Yeah. I also think in other episodes, I've talked about Jordan Pifok and wanting him to be in the squad. But I think he might be injured in that. That might have made the decision for him. Uh, otherwise, I think, you know... I've my hot take is that I don't think Christian Pulisic is in our best 11. Yes. Uh, I think he is kind of garbo and has been kind of garbo for multiple years. And every time he plays for the U S men's national team, he goes hero ball mode and he really doesn't have the form for that. So I, I just don't, I don't think he's in our best 11. I think we're much stronger with uh, Aronson on the field and with Reyna on the field, and if not those two, then Tim Weah. And I don't know, I'm still not sold on Josh Sargent. He keeps on getting forced to be a striker, and I don't think he has, like, the touch or the ball protection to do that. But I do like him as, like, an attacking player for Norwich at the end of last season. He played more as, like, a midfielder. I thought that was, like, really effective for him because he has a lot of energy. He's very strong. But, like, you know... He, he's not able to, like, turn a defender or have close control. And that's something Pepe's really good at. So it was just, like, kind of frustrating to not see that. Pepe, he plays for FC Dallas, I believe, right? No. So he went to uh, Augsburg, and then oh, he's on loan right. in the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay, good for him. Good for him. So, okay. and, and he's been scoring, like, crazy in the Dutch League. So, like, he's doing well. It's he's really young so at least he'll have other opportunities but it is disappointing from a fan perspective and I would say um my actually like to be honest I know like my my starting point my expectations for the squad are way lower than you know what one would have for an England squad Mm -hmm. um it's true like like the history of the team you know you think of the iconic U.S. men's players it's like Clint Dempsey Landon Donovan Tim Howard. Uh, Tim Howard, but like, you know, we don't have the history of having like powerhouses in every position. Yep. So for me, I'm actually pretty excited about this lineup, but I really don't believe in the manager. I think he is really well, bad at manager? substituting Greg Berhalter. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. He, he was a Columbus crew manager for a long time. 
and they did well, but I think that was more a reflection of the club structure at the time than his management ability. Um, And I think the talent within this squad has pulled him through a lot of bad decisions and terrible tactical choices. I think he's really bad at adjusting to better opposition. Like we played Canada and Canada play a really obvious like tactic. They sit back, they send the ball long and they have people fast enough to beat you to the ball. And we still played a high line with pretty slow defenders. So just one of those things where I don't believe in him. So what I'm kind of looking for is to enjoy individual performances I think Musa is an amazingly fun, creative midfielder. I'd love to have him at Spurs. Like, genuinely, I think he can be a total game changer. And he'll definitely start most of the games. And as long as Weston McKinney is fit, love to see him play, too. I think he's a great player, and he's grown a lot in the last couple years. But because I don't believe in the tactics, and I don't believe in Greg's ability to adjust tactically, I, I don't have high expectations for this World Cup. And so I hope they just have a good time. <laughs> I mean, they're in <laughs> Qatar. Why not? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Good point. <laughs> okay. Who do you think is going to be their best player for the tournament? Uh, Aronson. Aronson? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's, he's been... or, or also Matt Turner is, a, I like, honestly, a really dependable goalkeeper. So he could make a, Okay. he could really show off and everything. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a good shout. Um, Emilio or Dante, you guys have anything to say about this great squad where they play the sport of soccer? <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, draw. <laughs> draw. Draw squad. We... It's no one good. Soccer. I swear no to good. God, Andrew, I will go to Chicago. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but I mean the the only the only thing that I'm happy about is that they have uh, is uh, oh shit sorry I, I didn't mean to do this <laughs> sorry, well sorry. looks like I'm getting my pass to uh to Chicago be ready for me and like <laughs> Dude, ready get some deep dip shisha while you're here come on I'm hungry <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 uh I'm happy that they brought um... okay stop stop I didn't even do that okay go go I'm, my hands are away I'm done I, I'm tied up right now okay I. Mm, okay. <laughs> no, hey, don't make that noise. <laughs> no, chill, chill. Uh, I'm happy that they brought um Kel- Kellen Acosta uh in the squad. That's yeah. what I'm really happy about. Um, uh, af- after uh LAFC won the the whole league, I uh, I was really hoping that he'd be in the squad because of um what how he's done in with uh LAFC, and uh, to uh to bring him. Along with uh, <clears throat> along with McKenney, I think I think it'll it'll be it'll be good. But like um like wait 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 wait. By the way, um Dante LAFC is a team in the MLS that won the MLS Cup, and the M- um LAFC has Gareth Bale and mm-hmm. uh, Chiellini. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, I know that because of FIFA. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, there we go. sorry. <laughs> I'm just making sure you didn't know because I know a lot of people don't give it really. Anything about no. MLS, but okay, well, fair. I I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't blame them. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them if they didn't care about MLS. Come on, back your squad, man. LAFC. I I also, mean MLS is fun. If you want to enjoy soccer, your life, man. that league is dead. That league is <laughs> dead. It's a it's a retirement. Enjoy soccer, life, if you want to enjoy life, you watch the MLS because it's chaos constantly. Is All it right. quality? No, that's Sometimes. if you're depressed. <laughs> if you're depressed. Oh my god! <laughs> if you're depressed, you watch the MLS. I know the the MLS causes depression. Uh, I don't know about the that. MLS Chelsea, Chelsea's been pretty good with that with me lately. So yeah, it's just Chelsea and I dry. We got Christian Pulisic. What do you expect? I mean, I mean, yeah, Christian Pulisic hasn't hasn't really like show hasn't turned up recently. So it, it's not ever? gonna be it, it, no. Does he even play for them? Uh, <laughs> no, he's like Ronaldo. He's the number one bench player in their squad. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. 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 Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. I just wanted to put this in while you guys uh, are here. The LeBron's James of soccer. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. a constant disappointment. 
He's the goat. Okay, um, let's now go <laughs> to Wales. All right. So for Wales, the squad is goalkeepers Wayne Hennessy from Nottingham Forest. Great choice. Danny Ward from Leicester City. Adam Davis from Sheffield United. Defenders Ethan Ampandu from Spezia. Great. Chris Menfen from Bournemouth. Ben Davis from Tottenham. Great. Chris Gunter from Wimbledon. Hey, I didn't know they play tennis too. Connor Roberts from Burnley. Joe Roden, not Joe Rogan, Joe Roden from Wren. Nikos Williams from Nun- oh, Nottingham Forest. Why couldn't I speak? Ben Cam- Cambanjo. I like that name, Cambanjo, from Swansea City. And Tom Lockyer from Luton Town. How do you do a Welsh accent, actually? That's, I'm, I'm very... Um, Dante, do you know how to do a Welsh accent, by the way? No. Oh. I don't, I don't talk to them, man. Okay, got it. I'll try. Their language, their language. Have you ever seen their road names? Yeah, I've yes, seen their road names. Oh what God. the They, they head by the keyboard. <laughs> they, they, they made it up. They made it up for fun. Oh, we love you, Welsh people. We love you. All right, no, another defender. Oh, Tom Locker from Luton Town. Joe Allen from Swansea City. Aaron Ramsey from Nice. Nice. Harry Wilson from Fulham. Johnny Williams from Swindon Town in England. Joe Morrill from Portsmouth in England. Matthew Smith from MK Dons from in England. Dylan Livett from Dundee United in... Why does it say SO? That's I'm pretty sure Dundee United is in England. I'm, if I'm... No, it's not. It's in Scotland. Close enough. Ruben Colwell from South Southampton, Swansea City in England. So, Sobra Swans. Thomas... Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Thomas in Huddersfield Town in England. Gareth Bale from LAFC USA and MLS. And Dan James, Daniel James from Fulham United in England. Kiefer Moore from Bournemouth in England. Brendan Johnson from Nottingham Forest. And then Mark Harris from Cardiff City. This is basically like a back... <laughs> I would think this is basically like the people who didn't get selected for England. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not the Oh team. my god. Not the How team. dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I think Ben enough. Ben Davis is literally better than Eric Dyer. Okay. Like no, he yeah, is yeah, literally better than to be fair. Okay. He, you know what? He's there's... definitely better than Harry Maguire. There's it's not some... hard to do though. There's some people <laughs> here that I would definitely choose over people in England. I I'm just saying that. Like um yeah. Or I mean, uh, anyone want to say anything about the Welsh squad here, and who do you think is going to be dangerous for it? Except Bale, because I know Bale. No just... one. Bale. No Bale, right. and then that's it. He, he's Brennan just Johnson's pretty good. No, he's not. I mean, he's I'm, terrible. I'm surprised. Keeper Moore, is, he's trash. <laughs> Keeper Moore is ten feet tall, so if they can have Never someone enough. put in a set piece, <laughs> he's like a million feet tall. He's insanely tall so all they have to do is stick them up top and then and have can... set piece win set pieces and then you have dan james who's like lightning fast lightning quick oh Did man i know? love i love watching dan james when he was starting man united are you serious he was a dan- yeah man are I you mean... serious are you I think it was so bad. there's a camera over there over so there good emilio dry. reveal the prank it was so bad he's just run that's the only thing you can do is run hmm. Kind of like my tactics, honestly. Good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but um, I'm more, I'm more surprised that Aaron Ramsey's on the squad. He's a ghost. Yeah, I mean he plays for Nice, so that's pretty good. That's maybe nice there. Still a ghost. Did he like start for Nice? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because didn't he didn't he play for Rangers and then come on Juventus. just to take a penalty? No, he, he yeah. was in between yeah, and Rangers he missed it. and news, and he missed it. Oh, thank you so Europe much, Aaron Ramsey. From a Frankfurt fan. Danke schön. Du bist ein guter Hund. I say so you're a good dog. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> so they don't have the LeBron James of anything. So, yeah, I mean, that is the Welsh team. And honestly, I would like to see them do well. But I don't know. I really don't know. But all right. Well, that is all. The groups right now so now let us just get into our predictions who wants to go first for the world cup 2022 prediction me I'll okay go first. <laughs> okay Dante. Uh, right what, what, um, what, what do you okay for let me let me let me say group a qatar ecuador senegal netherlands who do you think is going to be first and group, second for this well i mean i've never even heard of anyone that plays for qatar yes you do so who um 
the guy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> so Netherlands <laughs> and Senegal are obviously going to go for. So who do you think is first and second? I think it's going to be uh, Senegal. Okay. Yes. Netherlands, Ecuador, okay. then Qatar. All right. So I'm just going to do one and two. Okay. And then for Group B, who do you think is going to be uh, one and two? England and. England, Iran, United States, and Wales. You know, obviously it's gonna be England first. All right. Uh, yeah, go on. United States second. Okay, fair, fair. All right, now Group C: Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Who are you saying first and second? Argentina first, Poland second. Okay, Lewandowski. I like to see it. And then now Group D: France, Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. What do we say? Or or as as uh Speed calls them, uh. I don't know. What did he even call him? He's like... Oh, he's probably called it Mexico in him. <laughs> um, I think... I'm going to say it. I yep. think Denmark are going to be first and okay. France are going to be second. Oh, so you don't think that the curse is going to continue for France? No. Okay, fair, fair. All right, Emek PayPal. Nice. Group E, Spain, New Zealand... No, Costa Rica, sorry. Germany and Japan. What are you saying first and second? Germany first, Spain second. Okay, yeah, fair shout. Okay, now Group F, Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. What are you saying? First, second. Think Belgium, mm-hmm. and then Croatia. Croatia. I just don't think Canada are that good. Yeah, they uh, they have a nice leaf. All right. Okay. Yeah, they're but... not better than Croatia. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Brazil, and then okay. Serbia. Brazil and Serbia for really. Mm-hmm. No feet got... to Sh- Shakiri. Shakiri. Yeah. Nope. Okay, fair. Uh, well, I mean, by the way, everybody, Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. All right. Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. What are you saying for this one? Honestly, so sorry, it's a really, a really hard choice this is. I know. Tell you I what. Know. Are you being sarcastic? No, 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 not at all. Okay. Not at all sarcastic. <clears throat> Portugal, Uruguay. Okay, well, there we go. All right. So now... Yeah. Group A, um, who are you gonna say Senegal versus United States? Who's gonna win that one? Senegal versus United States. Yeah. You mean what? What? What do you mean what? You mean Senegal versus? You're, Senegal. you're going you across Senegal versus instead of down. <laughs> no, 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 guys! I did this right because I I spent last episode for the predictions. I did this like so wrong, but then I forgot. Look on the screen right here: one A versus two B. So two B. Oh yeah, that's it. That's yes. It. I about that. <laughs> oh, oh, I am. I the... about that, right? Oh, so I think... Games of soccer. Okay, so Senegal versus the United States. What are we saying for that one? Senegal. Yes, I agree with that. That's a good. And they won the they won the African Cup of Nations, so they did. They did. All right, now for this, England versus Netherlands. England, Ooh. obviously. All right, it's coming home, maybe. All right, now for this one, Group C, Argentina versus Hans. That's a great game. Argentina. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was creepy. All right, now for this one, Denmark versus Poland. Denmark, definitely. Denmark, okay. Nice, I like it. All right, now, Group E. Germany versus Croatia. What are we saying for this one? Honestly, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hear this. Germany played today versus um Oman, a country, yeah. and they won in the 80th minute. I mean, they were Playing starting with, some blokes. Uh, yes, exactly. Freiburg, yeah. so. Yeah. Or whatever, whatever it was. But yeah, Germany, Germany are going to win. Okay, yeah, fair enough. All right, so Germany for that one. And now for this one, Belgium versus Spania. Another great game. I think Belgium are going to beat them. Really? Okay. Got yeah. It. All right, now for this, Group G, Brazil versus Uruguay. Yeah, Brazil. Okay, okay Brazil. Simple. All right, now, then last group, Group H, Portugal versus Serbia. Mm. Do, you have, do you have faith in Mitrovic? I mean... I mean, Vlaovic and Mitrovic. And then they've got Milinkovic Savic. So they've got a ridiculous team. And then Novak Djokovic as well, too. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, Portugal. Okay. Portugal, I can't, I can't rule them out. Suwi, indeed. All right. What are we saying about this now? So you have 
for this game, Argentina versus Senegal. What are you saying for your first one? Okay, yeah. All right, so on through to the semifinals, and then you have England versus Denmark. Oh, you're thinking. You are thinking. <laughs> you know, I'll probably say England. We've just got a lot more talent. We've just got a lot more better players. All right. With Denmark, yeah. they've they've kind of just got like Ericsson. And... You shouldn't use the word talent. Come on, let's let's. You've got a lot more better Mediocre players. players. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, now for this one, you have Germany versus Brazil. Ooh. Yeah, Brazil. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And you don't think it's gonna be it's gonna be payback for Brazil? Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Now. Belgium versus Uruguay. A great game, actually. Uruguay. Okay, Uruguay. Great. Be bold. <laughs> okay, now for this one, your semifinal is indeed Argentina versus Brazil. What are you saying for that one? Oh, it's difficult. Yeah. So difficult. Because they beat they Argentina beat them in like the Copa America. Yep, exactly. Oh. But then again, they didn't have him playing for the team. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Mm. Oh, I'll go on Brazil. Okay, Brazil, oh. in the semifinal. Oh, this is great writing. All right, um, and then your other semifinal is Uruguay versus England. What are you saying for that one? Definitely England. Okay, England indeed. All right, let me just put that down. All right, what are you saying for your final, Dante? Brazil versus England. Who's taking it all the way to the favela or to Brazil. Nando's? Brazil. Okay, Simple. there we go. It's, like, it's going to be like 4 now. Oof. We might score well Pan, who knows? All right, so okay, what's your prediction for the final? Let me, let me write that down. One. So, I think... Brazil will probably score like really early on. It'll be like Richarlison or something. Because obviously he play. He's going to be some Brazilian that plays for an English club. The, the... And then I think Harry Kane will probably score Pan, or Trippier will score free kick. Either one of them. And then yeah. like Neymar is going to score, and then someone like Blumen, Edda Militao is going to score. Oh yes. So, some some like defender or something. So you're thinking three to one. Yeah. Okay. Three to one for Brazil. That's a great one. All right. Dante, thank you for your World Cup 22 predictions. All right. Now, let us get into the who wants to go next for this one, for the next World Cup prediction. It's. I yes. can go if you want. Okay. Sure. Emilia, you have no say in this. Keep, keep <laughs> quiet. Okay. What are you saying for Group A? Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. Who's one and two? I'm going to go first, Netherlands second. Who's first? Senegal. Okay. Yeah, I like that. All right. So there we go. Now Group B, England, Iran, United States, Wales, 1-2. What are you saying? England first, Iran second. Oh Let's go, gosh. chaos. Oh, my gosh. I, uh. I want to say really quickly, really quickly, I have gotten last in every single March Madness bracket I've ever, ever participated in. So the expectations are very low for my success rate. Okay. By the way, Dante, March Madness is the Quidditch – betting tournament that they have here in the United States and just in case you didn't know. Nice. All right. Yeah, Group C. Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. What are we saying? So, Argentina first, obviously. Yes. And then out of bias, Mexico second. Let's okay. Go. Okay. Nice. I ride hard for North America. Okay. Except for the US, I guess, but <laughs> everyone else. So sad. This is it. All right. Group D. France, Australia, Denmark, Tunisia. What are we saying? Denmark first, France second. Denmark first, France second. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Ooh. Group E: Spain, Germany, Costa Rica, Japan. What we Spain for first, Germany second. All right. Apparent. All right. Group F: Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. What we saying? Belgium first, Canada second. Ooh, running through the six of my wow, nice. <laughs> That was cringe. <laughs> All right, Group G: Brazil, <laughs> Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. What are we saying? Brazil first, Serbia second. Brazil first, Serbia second. Okay, yeah. got it. All right, Group H: Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. 
another hot take uruguay first and ghana second honestly think the portuguese manager is garbage yeah i agree uh, but chupa Moteng, dangerous that's all i gotta say all right i know what are we saying for this Group A versus Group B. Senegal versus Iran. Oh, my God. Come on. Senegal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Now, other one. England versus Netherlands. Woo. Uh, Netherlands. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. It is going to be Netherlands. So I'll just do that. All right. Group C. It is. Oh, wait. I did that wrong, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Well, you know what? I can do this because I am a amazing at sure. Okay. All right. Group C. Argentina versus Denmark. Oh, wait. No. Oh, versus France. You said Denmark, France second. All right. What are you saying for yeah. that one? Argentina. Okay. Hitting on the France. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Then, Group D. Denmark versus Mexico. Oh. Denmark. <laughs> Denmark. Okay. Fair. Yeah, definitely. All right. Group E. España versus Canada. What are we saying for this? Spain. All right. So you're not gonna want to dip your your chips in the maple syrup. Oh, <laughs> so shit. Okay. What are we saying? Yeah, I was wondering where you were going with that. I don't <laughs> want to know. All right, Belgium and Germany. What are we saying about this? They kind of have the same uh, flags. Germany. Okay, so you're saying Germany. So that is Germany. Is going through. All right, Group G, Brazil versus Ghana. Brazil. Uh, okay. No shit houseery here. All right. Now group H, Uruguay and Serbia. What are we saying for here? Uh, I think Uruguay. Okay, fair. All right. So now your quarterfinals are indeed. It is. Uh, let me just calculate. Southampton. <laughs> Senegal. Southampton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sen Senegal versus <laughs> Netherlands. What are we saying about that? Wait, did I do that wrong? Oh. No, wait. Did I think I did that wrong? I did that wrong. Yes. Oh. Okay. Let me. Let me. Okay. So, <laughs> Senegal versus Argentina. What are we saying for this? Oh, Argentina. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Now for this other group, uh, Netherlands versus uh, Denmark, right? And, or... No. Wait. No. Mexico? What? Mexico. What are you? No, no. Mexico didn't get through. Wait. Yes. No, said... no. I. You're looking one step behind because we already determined that. <gasps> oh my god. So it, it'll be. Oh, it'll you be said, whoever. You said two C, right? Denmark won. Okay. Yes. We said. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. England. So oh, sorry. So. Oh, oh, Netherlands versus Denmark. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Um, I think Denmark. Denmark? Oh my gosh. Okay, to the semis. Right. All right. Uh -huh. Now, Group E versus Group G. What are we saying for this one? It is España versus Brazil. Brazil. Okay, I'm fair. But tight. Okay. We I think like it tight. wouldn't be a, Oof. Okay. Be an, a, a big game. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> Belgium? Well, no, no, no. You said for this one. Two... Germany. Germany versus Uruguay. Uh, Uruguay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, now the semifinal for your World Cup is indeed Argentina versus Brazil. What are we saying for this one? Argentina. Okay, Argentina. Ooh, nice. Mostly because that's what I want, but yeah. maybe not what I expect to happen. Fair, fair. Okay. And then the other one is indeed Denmark versus Uruguay. What are we saying for this one? Uruguay. <laughs> okay, nice. And what is your World Cup final? Who are you going to say? Uh, Argentina. Okay. Two to one. Two to one, Argentina. Got it. All right. Well, Veronica, you are predicting two to one Argentina to win it in the final in the last minute hat trick for Mbappe. All right. That is <laughs> the World Cup for Veronica. Lovely. All right. Emilio? The co-host of the show. Let me just get you for this. Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, Netherlands. What are we saying? First, second. I'd say Netherlands first, and then Senegal second. Okay. Well, I have. I, very said, bad... I said. I know. I, said... I have bad <laughs> hearing issues. I just want Qatar. They paid me. All right. What are you saying? Uh, Senegal second. Senegal second. All right. What are we saying for Group B? England, Iran, United States, Wales. 
England first, yeah. and then Wales second. The Wales, okay. They go like, oh, roar. that's, oh. Group C, Argentina, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, Mexico, Poland. Uh, it, Argentina first, and then uh, Poland. Pol- not Mexico. Uh, dude, I've, I, Emilio. we, dude, we're not going to win two, uh, two games with Argentina and Poland. We might get away with Saudi Arabia. Hey, damn. All right. <laughs> all right. Group D, <laughs> France, Australia, Denmark, Tunisia. Uh, France first and then Denmark. Okay. You don't have faith in Zunzia? No. That's how speed say he said Zunzia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Group E, Spain, Costa Rica, <laughs> Speed said, Germany, and Japan. Costa Rica, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, Spain first. Yeah. Germany second. All right. All right. All right. For group F, we have Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. What are we saying? Croatia and then Belgium. Ooh. Okay. All right. Nice. Mixing it up. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. Uh, Brazil. And then uh, Serbia. Okay, nice. All right. And what about Switzerland? They they have a big plus on their flag. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'll, sh- I'll shut the hell up. The LeBron <laughs> James of soccer. All right, Portugal, Ghana, <laughs> Uruguay, and South Korea. What are we saying for this one? Uh, It's Portugal first and then Uruguay. Okay, Uruguay. All right. Now for this, what are we saying? Netherlands. For a court first round of sixteen, Netherlands versus Wales. What are we saying for that one? Uh, I mm, there's gonna be there's gonna be a. I'm gonna say Netherlands. Okay, yeah. All right, now for this one, England versus Senegal. Oh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and only because I would say England. Okay, all right. So so it's England. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, Group C, Argentina versus Denmark. What are we saying for this? Argentina. All right, yeah. Um. Now, Group D, France, France versus Poland. Mm. It's okay, breathe. <laughs> uh, I'm no. so surprised. I think I, I didn't think the Polish team were good. I thought they were pretty bad. I their 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 squad's decent. You know, I won't say have, the best. They Robert Levin, Levin-Golski. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. uh, uh, I think France. All right, France. I'll see you more fun day. All right, Group E: Spain versus Belgium. Wow. Ooh. No. I. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be Spain. All right. Uh, yeah. All right, Group. F versus group N. Croatia versus Germany. What are we saying for this one? Germany. Okay. I, I, I think Germany gonna gonna knock them out for All sure. Right. Like a like a four nil. Oh yeah! Wow, that's a weird noise. All right, Group G, <laughs> Brazil versus Uruguay. What are we saying for this Your game? Brazil. Okay, there we go. All right, now Group H, Sa- Uruguay versus Serbia. What are we saying for that? Uh, Wait, really quickly, you just said Uruguay for Uruguay versus Brazil. So is one supposed to be Portugal? Did I just mess it up? Oh, oh no. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uruguay. 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 Sorry, here. Okay, let me let me, let me, me just re, re, redo that, my dumbass. Thank you, um, Veronica. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Brazil versus Uruguay. What are we saying for that? Okay, Brazil, Uruguay. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Brazil. All right. Well, yeah. Now, Portugal versus Serbia. There we go. Not it, Uruguay. Portugal. Portugal's right. going to win. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right. Now, for your <laughs> English, <laughs> for your quarterfinals, it is indeed the Netherlands versus Argentina. What are we saying for this? Oh, my gosh. I am so. Wow. Argentina. Argentina yeah. going to go through. Okay, yeah. All right, now for this, England versus France. What are we saying? Is it going to be Ajlamo Fossi or is it going to be Oi? 
<laughs> that was brilliant. That was. I thought you were from England, man. <laughs> Oi! Jesus. That's, that's more like that's Scotland, so actually. <laughs> oh, that was so uh, funny. That, uh, you, you know, you know, you know, we 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 ferments in it. <laughs> uh, oh, um, that's painful. <laughs> uh, I would. I would go for France. All right, so it's Michel Fourier. Okay, nice. It now. What are you saying for España and Brasilia? What are we saying for this one? Brazil. Brazil. Okay, that is how it is. All right, now it is Group F. It is the wow Germany versus Portugal. What are we saying? Is it Sui or is it uh? Hello. Yeah. Schnitzel. Mm. Uh, I want to say this game's gonna be tight, yep. but I'm gonna say Sui. Okay, so you're saying, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're saying Portugal. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now, what are we saying for your semifinal meal for the World Cup? It is gonna be Argentina versus Brazil. What are we saying for this one? I'm missing a writer already because I already know what you're gonna say. Yeah, Argentina. Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then also. Portugal versus Foncia. What do we say? Is it going to be Sui or is it going to be France? France. All right. You didn't say the name right, but it is fine. <laughs> All right. Now for your World Cup 2022, who is going to win? I will say Uh-oh. 2 1. Yeah. Argentina. Okay, there we go. Two one for Argentina and Messi, the guy who goes in that. If you've seen the video of him, he goes like, eh. he does the sheep thing. But no, but I don't know. All right, well that is your prediction, <laughs> Emilio. Thank you for that. You are the the LeBron James of soccer. All right. Well, okay. Well, everybody, now let us get into those are our predictions. Oh, by the way, do you guys want to see my prediction really fast? You. Yeah. Yes. Go on then. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> I sounded like a hyena that just got hung. What the hell? All right. Okay. So, my prediction. Let me just say. <laughs> just going, here we go. Oh my god! Uh, it's gonna take a piss. Oh you, you know, you know, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> mm. Oi! It is gonna be. What? Really? What? Oh. No, sure. Okay. You gotta be taking. You tell. gotta be taking a nick. Huh? You you've got no way. There is yep. no way. Yep. Pretty yep. hype though. Yep. I'll be honest. Senegal versus France. Hyped. Senegal to win the World Cup. Man. Oh my god. Honestly, Sen- yeah. Senegal okay. to win the World Cup. Exactly. Right. I, yeah. Of course. But, but why? As Dante would say, that's dry. No, no, that's 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 not a use word. Dry. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying you, you, this? This is a is a mockery. It's, oh, it's a mockery. Oh, 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 no, you said thing. mop. It's it's joke thing, right? Joke, joke thing. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. I was like, Andrew had no idea what you said there. I don't know That's what I so said funny. either, so it's good. All right. I, I, if if this is serious, I'll call you a waste man. No, you can call oh. me a waste man. It's okay. I did do an internship at the waste factory, so it is correct. Nice. All right. So. Yeah, that is my prediction. That's I Senegal, France, my two favorite teams to win it. But I, I, it's honestly just biased. That's probably not my guess. Put this, a is, on it. this is yeah, what... you did. It, it was a vi- <laughs> it was a vibes based bracket. It yes. wasn't. It wasn't exactly. I had Japan over Spain. I had a uh, Cameroon there too. So yeah, it it is purely for the vibes at least. Okay, well that's now... so funny that you picked. Like of the European countries to get knocked out of Group E, mm-hmm. it'd definitely be Germany. Yep. Like they've been stinky bad, and then he chose <laughs> Spain instead. Heck That's yeah. so funny. Hey, this is I, awesome. It is what it is. All right, that is my prediction. Everybody, <laughs> just yeah. All right, now let us get into football means of the week. Brought to you by Rivals Benzes and Football Means for the Lads, and sponsoring us is the fans of Qatar. Thank you, all of you, for sponsoring us on the screen. It is showing the Brazilian fans. The most English you... people ever. Thank you. <laughs> it is It is the England fans in Argentina. Pretty sure I've seen them down my road, actually. I have, too. They, Pretty they, sure they, I have. They were at the... Uh, okay, well... They're right. at the pub. 
Through cheeky Stellas. <laughs> yeah, but if you can't see the screen, if I speak, I am in trouble. All right, let's see the first meme. What are we saying about this? Ronaldo to Ragnac on his first day at Man United. Why is this random brother staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> you say it so strange, though. Like, you say, you just like, you say, it's a lot brooder. Why is this random Buddha standing at me? Why? Uh, uh, okay. Is it Buddha? Buddha. What is this what? random Buddha? What? No, Wait, Buddha. What? No, no, no. Hey, right, let me have it. This Why is this Buddha random Buddha? Is starting, man. Why is this random Buddha staring at me? Hey, hey, come on. This, this is just like lessons now. It's just lessons for Andrew. Thank you. It's not. Well, <laughs> no, it's just like. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, do you guys slang. The LeBron James soccer in Arabic. James Lebron's Likuratil Kadami. Yeah, I like that. That's it. Yeah, I, just... My flight to Boston is going to be so good. I, dude, be have fun. At, dude, have fun in Boston, dude. I don't know what's in Boston, but hey, have fun. All right. <laughs> we'll see the second meme of the week. What do we have to say about this? I cannot wait for the jerseys. That is disgusting. Dude, the Chelsea 2023, <laughs> 2024 jersey has been leaked, and I cannot wait to buy this. Perfect. Dude, I cannot wait. I mean, it's inspired by Chelsea's second team, Brighton. I just cannot wait for it. So, I mean, I don't think you got the joke. Uh, Chelsea just hired another, uh, what's it called? Something from, I think it was a sporting director from Brighton. So we took him. So. Oh, my God. Yep. That is how As it is. As if Bully wasn't this bad. Dude, Bully the Bully. We love him. All right. Now, let us see the last meme of the week. What do we have to say about this? So, Messi said this in our interview. When my mom was, pre- I'm going to try to do the Mexican accent. Hey, when my mom was... Oh, I'm not... Uh, no. Okay. Oh, do not do no, that. No, no, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. God. <laughs> I will leave the call. God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Messi. Hey, when my mother was pregnant with my father, I hey, was convinced that I uh, would be a girl. They God. had a uh, already chosen a girl's name. And then someone said on Twitter, man did a boy fight one on one against his dad before he was born. <laughs> oh my god, Messi hey. doing moves in the womb. Dude, five star <laughs> skills in the womb? Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, that was the show. Thank you. Oh, something. For... That w- it was something. And indeed, it was because I. James Lebron's. James Lebron's football. That's cute. <laughs> That's it translated oh, back. God. I cannot wait to play for the James LeBron's football club. Okay, well, win the World Cup. All right, well, everybody, My thank God. you for watching the show. That was our Group B, and I cannot wait for every other group and enjoy football because it is coming here in the World Cup. I don't know what's happening, but it's happening. Ah, uh, that was weird. <laughs> All right, well, everybody, thank you for watching the show. I said thank you again, and Emilio, thank you for being here as well too, my co-host. Yeah, I, I can't wait for the World Cup. It's in the ne- it's next week, isn't it? It is, but this on video Sunday. Will... On yeah. Sunday, yeah, it's coming up this Sunday. Oh my God, this video will already be released. So yes, <laughs> all right, and then also, of course, Veronica, thank you for joining, mate. That was, thank you. Yes, <laughs> thanks for having me. Okay, yeah, great. And also, Dante, thank you for being here, and is glad to have you on again. Thank you for having me. Course, work on your work on your accents. Uh, I'm, I'm tired, mate. Dude, I was editing this whole presentation thing until four in the morning, so just allow it. Allow it. Okay, well, everybody, um, thank you for watching the show. Like and subscribe because without, without subscribing, I don't know how else you're gonna know that the best team in the world is James LeBron's football. It is just annoying. I mean, annoying. Sorry, but you have to know that they are the best along with James LeBron's Likuratil Kadami. This is. I'm gonna it. find you, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little sussy, but I like that. All right, well, everybody, thank you for watching the show and watching on YouTube and on Spotify. Enjoy the World Cup. It is football. It's every four years, so just enjoy it. No matter how bad the games are, enjoy it. It is football. It is a sport we love. It is a sport we cherish. And it is a sport that pays Qatari fans to come and represent other nations. All right. Well, everybody, thank you for watching the show. And as we say for the show, James Lebron. No, that is not. No, no. Stop. Okay. As we say. Okay. Great outro. All right. In three, <laughs> two, one. 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 Love. 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 Football. Football. Love. Thank you guys for watching. And bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>